My husband and I are both from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. We met as a blind date. We were married 34 years. We have two children. He was just fun, and he touched so many lives. Dad was diagnosed in 2012 with large cell neuroendocrine carcinoma, um, which is a very rare lung cancer, and he was told that he had about a year to live. He didn't really want to take that as an answer. He didn't accept it. Due to his disease, Mr. Barber um, came to our hospitals many times, and I took care of him. He was full of joy, full of life. He was always willing to try new treatments, anything. The nurses on the fourth floor, he just bonded with them. We had nurse Monique, who was just wonderful, especially in her comfort to me. To have a nurse notice that things weren't right and to give that hug and comfort just was special. Yes, I'm busy. You know, but I've got time for you. It matters to have that special touch. We all want to hear good story. Stories where uh, our patients get a PET scan and all cancer is gone and will never come back. But then also we recognize that sometimes that just does not happen. It was December 3rd and um, we were supposed to go get some scans back and we found out that, that the um, cancer had not stopped. The cancer was spreading. Dr. Garce told us, you know, if there's anything that you want to do, you need to do it now. He and his daughter, Leslie, they just had a wonderful relationship. The apple of his eye. He said, he said, I wanted to walk her down the aisle. Originally, I wanted my wedding in October, and then we settled on February 1st. He was admitted into the hospital on um, Friday, January 9th. And Dad said, Leslie, I just don't know that I can make it to February 1st. How do you feel about Tuesday? You can plan a wedding in two days. And I said, well, you know, Tuesday sounds good. 11414 sounds great. <laughs> My sister in law, Carol Taylor, went down to speak to the charge nurse that evening and she said, Come on down, I'll show you the chapel. And then arrangements were made for the chapel to be used, for one of our rooms for the reception to be set up. Flower arrangements were done by uh, Duke Raleigh Hospital. We all pulled together to just make this happen. We were just so grateful. Mr. Barber got ready and he put his uh, tuxedo on and I got him on a wheelchair. They made an announcement on the intercom, you know, and um, said for the nurses to come down to the station. And then rolling him in that wheelchair for everybody to see him around and clap their hands. It was just a great feeling all around. When Dad got up out of the wheelchair and, and linked arms with me, it was just great. It was so perfect. He said, you look gorgeous. To think that he was so weak, he was just all smiles that day. Just very, very happy. We promise to love him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be faithful to him as long as you go to shadow. To see his big smile and also to see uh, his daughter's Leslie big smile, I felt that our team of nurses and doctors and everyone else did above and beyond what could have been expected of us that day. For them to be blowing bubbles when we walk out of the hospital, I wouldn't have had it any other way. He lived nine days after the wedding and um, would not have made it to February the 1st. The wedding was just a wonderful celebration, something that we'll cherish for a lifetime. We took care of Mr. Barber, his pain and his disease, and he fought a good fight. Um, but I felt that 
Uh, we took care of him as a whole person too. Every time I ride by Duke Raleigh, I smile. There's just great memories there. My dad really taught taught me that. Just keep going. Gotta keep living. Do good. He just had such a will to live. Um, so I think that I just need to do him proud and you know be successful.